this error right in here happened to me a week ago. I was literally out of my mind. I was panicking, but I managed to fix it. And I thought to myself, why not make a video on it? So after an extensive amount of research, here I am today to tell you how we can fix it. So without any further ado, let's get us straight into it. Okay, okay. Sorry we couldn't confirm it's you. The almighty error that caused all of these chaos. What I want you to do is that, please do not panic. Don't let this error get on your nerves because I'm gonna teach you like 100% that how you can fix it, okay? This is not a big deal. This error is temporary. So bear with me to fix this. So one of the most important reasons that you're getting this error is that you are trying to log into your account with a new phone, with a new PC, with a new browser, we like something has changed. What do you better try to do is that just try using an old computer or device that you used to log in. The reason behind it is that PayPal just has to confirm that it is you. You better try to log in with the old devices that is already in a trusted list devices, okay? Just do not, if you saw that error, under no circumstance, change your phone, change your browser to a browser that you have never tried to log into your account before. This is the first step. Okay, then just after that, just to be cautious, okay? You better turn off your VPN. I do not know if you're using any VPN or not, but if so, just try to completely turn off your VPN or if it is possible, or if not, just try to change your VPN to a country that you created your account in, okay? You created your account in, and do not change the VPN to a new VPN like with a new IP address if you saw that error under no circumstance, or as I said, you better turn it completely off. And another point is that if you saw that error while you were at the cafe or like in a restaurant and you were connected to a public Wi-Fi, that could be one of the reasons. And you better just avoid using public Wi-Fi's or free restaurant Wi-Fi's to log into your PayPal or any other banking accounts, okay? They're not safe. And, and sometimes the IP of those public Wi-Fi's are banned with PayPal or any other banking system. Okay, another point is that if PayPal gave you an option to verify your identity, you better just follow their instruction to uh, like verify your identity. This problem will be solved, okay? I'll let you know how by the end of this video, but as the moment that you solve this problem, you better just activate two steps of verifications on your account, okay? And then after that, just change your password because in the servers of PayPal, it will drastically improve the security of your account. PayPal will at that point know that this account has a two step verifications. There is no way that someone just breached in. Okay, so this final tips are the most important tips. I kept the best for the last. So. What do you want to do is that you want to clear browse cookies and cache in your browser. How though? I made a video like, I mean, one or two years ago that I'll pin up in there that you will learn how you can clear your browsing cache and cookies. Okay, after you made sure that you cleared your browsing cookies and cache, what do you want to do is that you want to just get into this website. This is very important before trying to log into your uh, PayPal account again. Just try to check your IP address. Uh, you can just search for what is my IP address or IP le leak. Just get into this website. I don't want to like leak my IP address, but write your IP address, the IP address that you're seeing up in there and the other, I mean, tab. Just write it down in here and just check if your IP 
has a bad reputation or not. Okay, it says does not have any bad reputations. Let's check another IP. Okay, for instance, this IP. Click on it. Okay. Okay, okay. As you can see, it says the IP address was found to have a negative reputation. Okay, this is where it's important. Just do not try to straight log into your PayPal account. First, make sure that you test this. After that, after you made sure that your IP address does not have a bad reputation, you wanna just get into your PayPal uh, like main page and try to log into your account. You most probably will see this screen with the upper link of paypal.com slash A-U-T-H flow for authentication flow slash verification slash failed. So what do you want to do is that just replace failed with successful, okay? As simple as that. By doing it, there is a little possibility that you might be able to breach inside your account, okay? Let's see, okay, my account didn't have any problem, but in your case, you might be able to log in and like kind of breaching and sneak into your account. And by any chance, if you could not log into your account after trying all of these things, you better just wait for 24 up to 48 hours, preferably, and try to log in again, okay? I'll assure you that this error is not a permanent error. Your account is not banned, like permanently banned and limited. This is not a limitation. You better turn off your VPN and, or log in with the same VPN that you used to log in before. And use the same device, find a substitution for your transactions, and then after 48 hours, I'll guarantee you that you can log into your account with no problem. I hope this video helped you. If you had any problems, just comment down in here. Let me know. I can help you. Just make a forum down in here. Let's help each other to solve our problems. Take care of yourself, guys and gals, and peace out. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. But to clear your cache and cookies in your browser, just click on this video right in here to be able to fix it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.